Hello there, it's the Cursing Seamstress back again with another video. Um, I think one of my most popular videos was a video I did on other sewing channels. Um, and I know I have searched myself in the YouTube search box for sewing videos and um, you know I had some luck, but um, I think a lot of people have as their names um, words that don't start with the word sew or they don't have sew or sewing or seamstress um, in, in the name. So um, it's a little bit hard to find other videos. Um, probably the way I find them is, um, well, by searching that way, but also by listening to other YouTubers um, and their sewing channels and they'll often make a reference to someone um, and I'll go and, and search and find that person and see if it's somebody I want to subscribe to. So I'm going to divide this. I have a whole sheet here. None of these repeat. Um, if you want to see the first video I did, it would have been last year and I was sitting here, but there were presents behind me, Christmas presents. So it would have been in October, November or December of 2017. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to try, in the other video I did, I put screenshots of each of these channels. I'll try to do that this time. It's really time consuming, but, um, but I will try to do that. And my only hope is I can remember who all of these are by their names. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, I do watch some quilting videos. Um, because I have quilted, but I'm not a quilter. Um, so the first one is Shabby Fabrics, S-H-A-B-B-Y Fabrics. She is mostly a quilter. I um, Sometimes when I find a, a really good channel, I'll go back and I will click on videos and I will go back and sort the videos from the earliest to the latest and um, it shows you how much time I have on my hands that I'm able to do that. But, um, so, I mean, I do that rather than watching TV. I do not watch TV, and I've thought about getting rid of my television. But, um, so I'll go back and watch from the beginning. And it may have been in one of those beginning videos that she told the story uh, of how she used to be an airplane pilot, and the airlines went through a major downsizing of pilots, and, um, and she lost her job. And so she had to find something to do, and she started a um, fabric store, I guess. And so she sells fabric. She sells fabric kits or quilting kits. Um, so it is mostly a quilt, you know, um, tailored toward quilting. But she's very talented, and um, she does show remedial projects that um, that you can do. So it's worth giving it a, a look and see if you like it. Heather Handmade. Um, Heather one word, Handmade one word. Um, I think she's somebody new that I've subscribed to. She does crafts, costumes, some tutorials. Um, I really have not gotten into a lot of hers. I found her recently um, have not gone back and watched from the beginning, but I did click on videos and look down at the type of videos that she made, and that's um, the sort of thing that I saw. Stitched Up. Um, Stitched Up is good. Um, this is a British woman. She is, a, I think, the equivalent of a nurse practitioner in the United States. She mostly sews for herself. She has done some sewing for others. She does uh, pattern reviews and um, shows you fabric that she's bought. Um, a, you know, typical uh, sewing channel, but she's, she's interesting. So um, the next one is So Happy. You may be familiar with her. I've been watching her for a long time. I did not include her in the first um, video that I did about sewing channels that I watch, but she is British. She sews mostly clothing. She and another 
person who I really don't know, I don't think she has a YouTube channel, have just started um, their own pattern company. And uh, so that should be interesting to watch that whole thing unfold. But uh, so happy, she's very cute and lively, bubbly, um, and um, interesting to watch. This, the Stitch Sisters, it's just listed as Stitch Sisters if you do a search. They are a couple of British ladies, they're not actually sisters. They have a sewing studio where they offer lessons. They um, do a lot of challenges um, between one another. And um, I believe they have also launched their own set of patterns, not on a large scale, but they have um, put some out. They're funny, uh, they're cute, and um, they do really nice pattern reviews. They'll compare, for example, I think they had a culottes challenge and one of them picked one culotte pattern to make and the other chose another. And then they, at the end, they compared the two of them and they voted on which one they thought was the better of the, of the two patterns. Um, Viv Mom Sews. Viv Mom is one word, V-I-V-M-O-M, -M, and then Sews. Viv Mom, I found her not too long ago. Um, I really enjoy her channel. She is a woman who lives in Virginia. She's in her 50s. She's cute as can be. She sews mostly for herself, although she has sewn for her son and her daughter. Um, she can really turn some clothing out pretty quickly. She loves to show you her fabric um, and her patterns. And she clearly has, not unlike most of us, an obsession with fabric and patterns. So she is really fun to watch. Sewing Janie, I subscribed to her probably just two or three months ago. She is a lady from Kansas. She um, sews mostly for herself. Um, she is sewing now for a great niece, I think she said. Um, she, um, the stuff she sews comes out and looks good, fits her well. So she's quite interesting. Um, and I would recommend her channel. Voice of a Creative, that's a new channel for me. Um, it's a young woman. Um, I, I, I just, I can't say too much about her. It seems to me she says mostly for herself, um, but check it out. I don't remember that much about her right now. Again, she's pretty new to me. So is Faction. That is a British woman who has a clothing store. She um, shares with you the, um, I'm sorry, not clothing store, she has a fabric store. Um, she shares with you the fabric that she has in her shop and she shows you what she has made with the fabric or she will show you a pattern and show you the fabric that would work well. Um, of course, I can't buy from fabric from England, um, but, um, but I do like uh, watching her. Um, craft work, C-R-A-F-T-W-E-R-K. This lady is also in England. Um, she's in her 30s, I think. Um, she sews mostly for herself from what I've seen. And she does pattern reviews. Um, and I like her channel. It seems to me she doesn't put up a lot of videos. It seems like she may put up a video once a month or so. So um, you might have to wait to get a new video from her. Um, you won't be seeing one every week. All right, I'm gonna stop there. I think I have enough. Um, that's about half of this list that I have. I will try to come back in a few days and do the second half uh, once I edit this and get it uploaded. Um, so that's it. And um, I hope you enjoy checking these channels out if you haven't already subscribe to them. And if you know of any other channels that are um, worthwhile, you are welcome to comment below and other people can um, you know, follow those um, links or do a search and um, see if they're interested in subscribing to those folks as well. So I am off to work in about an hour. I am going to vote. It's early voting. It started uh, yesterday. Today is Thursday. It started on Wednesday. So I'm going to do that and um, I've got uh, four hours of work and then I will come home and um, tomorrow 
my plans are to go to the North Carolina State Fair. So I'm excited about that. It's bound to be pretty crowded, although we are going to get there very early so we can get parking and um, fit everything in that we can and hopefully leave after lunch or so and come on back home. So, uh, all right, thank you for watching. I will see you later. Bye-bye.